This Sunday, we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Lent. We begin to breathe His Word, saying, In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us breathe His presence. Breathe Christ's presence. Recollect yourself. Let His presence envelop you. What Matthew is telling us is that we must seriously think about our actions before carrying them out because they will have consequences on our eternity. Jesus says that God will never judge us. He wants us all to be saved. God does not pronounce sentence we can see what Jesus asks of us from the cross. That is, to give our lives in love to others as the only way of using it fully. We either say yes or no. Salvation will happen for the ones who give their lives as Christ did. If on the contrary, we refuse and we become selfish, thinking only about our own pleasure, we condemn ourselves and our life. So, judgment is not something that will take place at the end of the world. The judgment is today now, every moment when we choose to be saved by accepting Christ lifted up, all condemned by refusing Him. Let us invoke the breath of the Holy Spirit on us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does what is true comes to the light, that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Allow the breath of his word to circulate inside of you. 
let it shed light on all areas of your life. Let it challenge you to be a better you. What do we imagine the judgment will be like? Take your time to reflect on his word. Say a prayer from your heart for yourself and those the Lord reminds you of at this time. Lord, as the breath of your word fills our being, may it become a lamp for our feet and a light for our path. Amen.